This brief video is about document properties. Um, very similar once again to Word. So uh, in order to find your document properties, the best way is to go to file here and go to what they call the backstage view. And here are some of your properties right here, right? So the size here, I haven't given it a title or tags or categories. Um, uh, the author is here, last modified here. All right, so you can edit some of these things if you want to give this a title. Uh, I can call this exercise. Uh, so practice. <clears throat> and now it's got a title. Uh, they want you to know that you can have show more properties if you wanted to. There's not that many more properties as you can see. Um, other views here, um, you can ask to see what's called um, advanced properties. And that is this. Okay, so a little bit more information here. Some of these are editable, some of them aren't. It shows you the sheets. So a lot of information, some of which you may never use, uh, but just need to know that it's here. So that's advanced properties. You can also see all, a lot of this stuff right on your document. So if I want to see what's called a document panel, it's going to get me out of here and it's going to give you this area here. And you can edit and type things in here and see things in here. And if you want to see more stuff, you can come here and say, show me the advanced properties. And there's that same little window with all these tabs on here so you can see other stuff. This is good when you're sharing a file within an office and you want to know who's edited and who's worked on it and what's all about. It comes in very, very handy. And from here, if I don't want to see these properties within here, I can just close this and I'm back to regular view. So once again, if you want to see your document properties, you go to file to the backstage view. Here are some of your properties and you can ask to see advanced or right back on your page and to see more. That's it.